To support its developing member countries, ADB commonly offers loans that pay for expenses to complete specific investment projects. The policy-based lending, or PBL, modality is different. It transfers loan amounts to the government's general budget instead of paying for explicit project costs. This helps countries that may be facing a financing gap in their annual budget and may need additional funds to pay for general development expenditures. PBL is disbursed only when the borrower completes policy reforms or actions that have been agreed with ADB. Examples include reforms to improve revenue collection and management of public resources, reforms to create a more business-friendly investment climate, or those that improve governance and performance of state-owned enterprises. This creates a platform and incentive for governments to carry out improvements with sector or economy-wide impacts. PBL can also be used to respond to a country's needs in case of crisis, be it economic or caused by disasters triggered by natural hazards. ADB's PBL operations fall under two categories, conventional and crisis response PBL. Under these are different forms of PBL that cater to various country situations. A standalone PBL supports a single program of reforms in a sector over the short to medium term. Amounts may be disbursed in one or more tranches, depending on the policy actions and timing of implementation agreed with ADB. A programmatic approach comprises a series of sub-programs over the medium term. Policy actions are tied to each sub-program. The Contingent Disaster Financing Option, or CDF, provides quick dispersing budget support in case of a disaster triggered by a natural hazard. The government completes reforms focused on disaster preparedness and response before a natural hazard occurs. When it strikes, the country can tap the CDF for urgent relief and recovery efforts. A policy-based guarantee, or PBG, is also based on completing policy actions. But instead of providing a loan, ADB partially covers a government's credit risk when it borrows from a private lender or issues a bond. By assuring lenders that ADB will cover the risk of non-repayment, the PBG gives countries access to more credit sources. It also allows the government to learn best practices in commercial borrowing. Some PBLs are designed for rapid response to fiscal crisis. The counter-cyclical support facility helps deliver fiscal stimulus during an economic crisis. This special PBL supports countries facing balance of payments difficulty. There are times when a country has both an investment requirement and a need for policy reform in a given sector. ADB provides the Sector Development Program, or SDP, for this purpose. This combined modality finances a country's reform program, plus a specific investment project linked to the program. SDP provides an integrated solution to a country's sector needs. All types of PBL, including SDP, require strong government ownership and commitment to reform. Policy actions must have sector or economy-wide impacts. Fiduciary arrangements ensuring efficient use of resources should be in place. There must be close coordination with the International Monetary Fund and other development partners on the proposed reforms, macroeconomic analysis, and to confirm that the borrower's macroeconomic conditions and policies are satisfactory. PBL and SDP are key tools in ADB's support for policy reforms in developing member countries and for providing general budget support for countries' financing needs.